This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, we're talking about a totally different era today. We're going to ride that WCW train, or as Tony Schiavone called it, the coffin on roller skates. We recently touched on uh, the Bash of the Beach 2000. This is the follow up effort. New Blood Rising. Boy, this is an unorganized era of uh, WCW. The New Blood is formed back in April with the relaunch of uh, WCW under the tutelage of both Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff. They're supposed to be feuding with the Millionaires Club, and you're going to be the top guy of the New Blood. Uh, by the time we get to New Blood Rising in August, the angle and gimmick are both kind of done, but it feels like that's really a snapshot of everything in WCW. There was not a lot of staying power with any of this stuff. It was just, you know, rapid fire. Conrad, you know, bash at the beach, in your house to these uh, maybe – uh, red letter days, 10 pole events in my career. Uh, but a, as I was, uh, in my head, I, I didn't have to do a lot of recall and research for some of those events on today's yeah. podcast. Um, the ad free team and, and Derek and, and just sort of jarring my memory and thinking things through. And you, you think about this year of 2000 that we're talking about that we walked out in Denver and the, the new blood and the millionaires and just that whole angle took off. It, that was April or, or, you know, March, April. And then we're, this is the August pay-per-view. It's like three months away. I mean, back in those days, you had to deliver uh, marketing materials to the pay-per-view distributors 90 days in advance. Well, really about 100 days in advance because they had to they start creating materials. So New Blood Rising, the title of that pay-per-view was done 120 days before. And by the time we get to this, like you just said, I mean, I think – in a lot of ways, uh, in hindsight, obviously hindsight's 2020, the bash at the beach and the fallout from that was truly the beginning of the end end of what uh, I, I can't say definitively, but it was, uh, what a complete mess when we go through this show and, and talk about, um, I'll go ahead and bring her up. I, I got to do it. Conrad, <laughs> when we talk about Judy Bagwell, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Awesome's valet, uh, 400 guitar shots, um, different kind of partners in and out, um, the thunder situation. We, we've got some real, uh, moments that in hindsight, you look and go, yep, that was the writing on the wall. Yep. That was the writing on the wall. Going to be a fun show though. Cause I'm glad those days are in my review mirror. I get it. It's a wrestling podcast, but he's saving us money on our mortgage. Do you really trust this process? The reviews don't lie. Five-star review after five-star review. We make it fast. We make it easy and it's no cost or obligation. Give us a shot to earn your business. I'm telling you, you'll be glad you did, especially if you like keeping more of your own money. You don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket. So what are you waiting for? Hurry to save with Conrad.com. Uh, let's think about this collectively. There's so many people to please here in, in WCW, you know, we've always talked about how the WWE is, is an audience of one it's Vince McMahon, but here Vince Russo is trying to keep Scott Steiner and Goldberg and Jeff Jarrett and Kevin Nash and Booker T and Diamond Dallas page and Brad Siegel and WCW standards and practices happy. And we're only three weeks away from the five-year anniversary of when Nitro was created. And Nitro was created really to compete with the WWF. And then within a year, they start that incredible 83 week streak. And that's really all people talk about. But even once the WWF won one, it didn't mean that they were firmly in control. It was back and forth for a while, but now it feels like, boy, those competitive days are way in the rear view mirror. It just feels like it's gotta be frustrating to be in the middle of that. And then you're still making towns and doing your thing. And so your question is how what was, frustrating, what was that like from, from your perspective, just a real guy doing his best. And you feel like you've sort of, for lack of a better word, maybe made your bed with the WWF mm -hmm. and as bad as business may be, you know, well, it's Ted Turner. He ain't going to run out of money. I'm going to be sure. fine. Um, but this is not exactly going according to plan, right? 
and no, not anywhere close. The houses weren't good. The TV was in disarray. Um, we've, we're beating this to death that, that there was no clear cut boss. Uh, by this point, Vince is looking over his shoulder and Ed looking over his shoulder and where's gosh, I mean, just, I mean, everybody, the company was the opposite of a well-old machine. I mean, you know, everything was, was in, I mean, just, it was, it, it was a mess, but till, till, I mean, when you just really think through and me knowing the history, um, or living the history, let me say that better than most knowing that, you know, Atlanta Braves baseball, Andy Griffith and professional wrestling is what put TBS on the map wrestling ain't going anywhere in the Turner, uh, fold even though it was AOL time Warner and as much dysfunction and all that, I think there was an underlying feeling that it was this place ain't going nowhere. And so let's persevere through it. And the sub 159 that are sit at, sitting out in Dayton, let's make them happy. And, um, we know things don't say the same. They're going to change. Let's just hope they change for the better. I, uh, I can't imagine being in that spot, but let's talk about the go home TV. Uh, before we get to this pay-per-view it's nitro in Denver Th thunder is in uh, Colorado Springs on uh, nitro. You're attacking Booker after his match against Lance storm. Somehow in all this, you hit a rather large woman named Heidi, who is Mike awesome's valet and also in team Canada somehow. Uh, but you're going to hit her with a guitar and that puts together you versus Mike awesome later on. You get the win after the stroke and failed interference from Lance storm, but a heel versus heel main event on TV is challenging enough. Now you add in all the other, uh, garnish, and this is not exactly easy, right? No. And, and, you know, baby face matches done really good. I love, I think it's some really good storytelling. I think it has the ability to um, energize both talents, but the underbelly flip side is go try to have a heel match because in the heel match, one of them's going to be at least have a little bit baby face tendencies, which doesn't really do anything for you after the match or the following week. Um, so again, a mess, lots of moving parts and garbage around it. Uh, it was what it was, but, um, again, another day at the office in so many ways at this stage of, of WCW's, uh, demise. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can notice any time we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.